Hello and welcome to Glen Letton. Um, new map. I'm hoping uh, late July uh, will be its release time. Um, fingers crossed on that one. The the map is pretty much done, but I'm gonna have some fun. Take time off from editing and all that jazz and uh, just play the game. First things first though, got to set the game up to how we want it. It will stay like that and now we will not want easy. Uh, we want seven days, uh, all of that is on. That we don't want on. Uh, we do obviously but we have it on slow fuel usage on high all of that off uh, down and, and that, that's full fine right we'll save that Let's see that's the map um here 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 and here so five farmyards, animal dealer, PGA, um, exports, and then all the productions around, spread around, farm shop or, or dealership, and then um, supermarket. Let's see if they've got anything of interest in the sales. Got a Veltra Q. Got a Massey, 200 horsepower. We haven't got the money for either of them. We could take a loan. We've got the go wheel as well. But, um, okay. We've got the Fliegel. Is that the... No, it's not the moving floor one. I... No. Don't like it. I would have loved to have had the Daltra, but... Oh well. So what do we have? <laughs> Just a bit. We have the fence and the Massey, a John Deere, a John Deere harvester, pickup, a trailer, both header, uh, corn and uh, grain header, stone picker, a mulcher, a cultivator, a subsoiler, cedar, planter, roller, sprayer, fertilizer, and lime, spreader, weeder, Roller for the grassland, roller for the um, for arable fields, mowers, tedder, rake, baler, bale, loader, front loader, forks, low loader, header trailer, and weights. Um, I think I've pretty much covered almost everything that you'll need, right? So what have we got that we need to do? As you can see as to what we own, we own four grass fields and then we own three arable fields. So we own quite a bit off the get-go. And our two wheat fields are ready to go. Our grass fields are ready to go. And we've got no rain coming in. We've got no rain coming in. Excellent. So, let's go over to the uh, store. Store? Farm. Yeah, I know what I meant. Um, put that now up a bit. Alright. Let's get the combine out of here. Of course, post feedback has gone off. There we go better let's get this um down to the do we want to take this down there right now i think we do so let's uh let's back this up here a minute uh, we'll turn that off. We'll get the tractor with the uh, header trailer down there. 
think that would be the easier way to go. We've got sheep, horses and cows on this farm. But we have got a lot to be going on with. And I do mean a lot. Uh, stay close to this hedge so we can swing in. Oh, there's a that's there. Um, edges are collidable, by the way. So this is our first build that we'll be working on. And the crop destruction is on. Turn that off there. We could go back a bit further. Which we will do. That. Let's go and get the combine. The, the one mod I haven't got on here. Click to switch. Should have had that on here. Made things a little bit easier. But. Kind of forgot that part. So I've been working on this map. Um. A while now, like five months, give or take. Let's move this off the uh, trailer. Jump over the head, you'll be fine. Pull this round to here. And, uh, and then we'll get this out of the field when it's uh, time. But for now, let's get to work. Um... So that field directly ahead of us is uh, ours, I do believe. Uh, yep. So, nice big corn field ready to go there. Oh, well, not ready to go, it's uh, currently growing. It's in its final growth stage. That'd be fun. We had a we we had a, a forage wagon, a forage harvester, and that would have uh, would have chopped it and made um, dumped it all in the clamp. But we don't, so we won't be doing that. What we'll be doing is uh, harvesting it and selling it at some point. We're on seven days per season, as you saw when I set it all up. And we have a growth calendar. And so we're halfway through the harvest season for wheat, barley and oats. Oh, well, actually, canola is coming to the end of the season. Um... We got ways to go before corn will be ready. So, <clears throat> but we've got to get 
all the grassing as well. And talking of grass, we have fewer months to uh, get our grass sorted. So we have to take that into account. And I would like to thank um, Disturbed for his uh, his contribution to the to the GEO. Um, he he made the GEO for me, um, and for this map and and all of my other map. So big big uh, shout out to him. Um, he does stream. I will put a link in the description to his channel. I would highly recommend that you go and watch um, watch him. It's really good content, out very informative, and it surprises you with a few things that he works on and uh, and uh, and and people that he knows. So definitely, definitely want to go and watch. But we'll uh, we'll try and get our wheat in. We've got no chickens, so we can practically apparently miss part miss bits and uh because we haven't got to worry about feeding chickens anyway we mm -hmm. i'm terrible at this in in gab stuff aren't i Here we go external um we will uh we will probably keep it in the silo though like I said, there's five farms on here, and at some point I might want to buy one. Never know. Or I might want to buy the grain mill and um, and start making flour. It's also a possibility. For the this is a fictional Scottish map because I don't do real life farms. Um, for that, you need to know Blender, and uh, Blender is definitely not something I know. And it's a steep learning curve. And for me to learn that, I be easier if I started learning that when I'm not working on a map that I need buildings for. It'd be uh, easier to learn it and then when we're next to a map have that knowledge and maybe even have some buildings ready to go. You know, I missed, uh, missed some there as well. It's all fine. I'm not, I'm not going to go around picking all the bits up I've missed. They'll just get Put back under with uh, mulch back into the ground, it'll be fine. Definitely, um Bigger fields, bigger, bigger fields, more undulation. Your vehicles are definitely going to be working here. Depend on which farm you go to. If you go for the central farm, you're on a or two central farms, you're in a more um, a flatter part of the map. Not flat, but flatter. You know, there's, there's a difference. And for me, it's been a lot of fun working on this map. And, and um, hearing what people's thoughts are on the map 
gain gain that feedback has definitely helped and the feedback has been very positive is really good I could I could easily get the last bits done and have the map out a lot sooner but I I want to make sure that all the testing is done before and and get the any fixes that need to be made done while I'm working on the map then put the map out there and then go oh I've got to do an update because that didn't get sorted we missed it in testing so I'm giving the those who are testing a good chance to find anything and, and report it back and first you know, I haven't been testing as such um, because I've been working on the map trying to get everything sorted we'll need a trailer won't we We'll have to bring out either the Massey or the John Deere with that trailer. Um, oh. We'll see. Now, obviously, we're going to be going up and down because it's the shortest route. Or the, the longest route, even. Longest side of the field. But it also means that we've got the hedges to... Oh, not the hedges, but the hills to contend with. a no sell by the way and grub destruction is on remember you forgot about that part it's okay it's all fine yeah. and there it is you're bringing the trailer mate it is in this big green shed isn't it to our right Not a big fan of John Deere, just saying. Well, it is the, it is where it is, and as you can see, none of the number plates have my name on them. I've, uh, I've elected not to do that for this one. Let you guys decide what you want to put on your number plates. They're all just random numbers and letters. there so we I can't remember all of the rules I originally made um, wasn't one finish it by six five or six was, was it I think As soon as it gets too dark, I'll be finishing anyway. So that 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 will be fine. It's open. It's door a bit. Jeez, it's hot in here. Stop. Thank you. Tax blur, burn the clutch out, going up the hill. <clears throat> so yeah, the... Uh, this will be a, a fun one, I think. In fact, you know what? We're going to do something even better. Edit this while I'm here. Go public. Mm. 
Maybe. We'll see. Oh, and put that on. We'll see. See what happens, shall we? It's coming up to 11 o'clock at night, wow. Time's flying. Time is definitely flying tonight. Hey Massey, I'm good thank you, how about yourself? I've uh, now sorted all the toys that you start off with out and uh, you're starting builds, that's all done. Um, still other bits to do. I'm completely going in a straight line, so completely ignore that. What the hell? Makes it look like it's not a straight line. You're great, thanks, awesome. Good to hear. Got my puppy now. You got a puppy? What, what breed of, uh, what breed is she? Hey, what breed's your puppy? And what, what sex? Uh, is it a boy or a girl? Totally straight to me. Fine. I was working on the map, but then, you know, I was like, eh, just go and play the game for a bit. As well, I'm just looking forward to playing on it. Uh, eight week lab and a boy. Oh, called Fergie. Nice. What made you call um, call him Fergie? Hey, poor boy. Ugh, this hill definitely doesn't. John Deere have no power, do they, when it comes to hills? Look oh, down at the John Deere. Well, not the John Deere, but the fence behind you either. I'm all good, thank you. Hope everything's good for you. Uh, the, um... Ah, you named it because of... Okay. Now I get it. I thought you just didn't like the female Prime Minister that we used to have called Fergie. Which not many people did like, but... And was before my time. Named him after a tractor. So, okay, apparently my mum wanted to name me after a dog. A pet dog. That was nice, wasn't it? Thanks, mum. And, uh... And then my that, that name that she wants to use, because my nan and granddad, her mum and dad, were like, no, you can't name him after your dog. What, what kind of person are you? What Who does that? And uh, so that name became my middle name. And which ironically is the name I'd rather be using, but I don't use it. Ironically. <laughs> don't go into the trees. That's how you break your combine. I'm looking forward to playing on your new map. You never knew, never knew what what that that we had a prime minister called Fergie. Oh yeah. Definitely not one of the popular ones. Well, there you go. Now, are there any popular ones? Hmm. I don't do politics, so I couldn't even tell you who's uh, the prime minister right now. I don't care. Just not my not my uh, forte. Couldn't be asked. I'm here to live my life and have fun.
Uh, how are you, poor boy? It's been a while since we last spoke. Hope everything's definitely going well for you. Massey, if you didn't know, Pool Boy is a map maker and modder. Really good guy. I like Boris. Guess somebody has to. like the field sizes yeah they they're, they're quite they're quite big and these are the smaller ones <laughs> bigger ones are up that hill on the other side of the road they get quite big over there what map does uh, what maps does he make why don't you ask him he's in chat I'm sure he'll uh, he'll tell you he's uh Should have emptied this combine before. Can we stop going backwards, please? Power. See, I really don't like this combine. Should have gone left to right. I know work with the hell rather than against it. But yeah, I wanted to be clever. Time to burn the engine out. Get the clutch. We burnt that out ages ago. <laughs> We need a few more horses, like, a lot more horses. <laughs> need brakes? Well, that that's secondary. These currently are my brakes. <clears throat> um, and I was pushing the brakes, I was standing on the brake, and it just wasn't stopping. <laughs> All this weight of uh, grain in here. And around we go. We'll empty the combine and uh, before we, uh, we turn around at the bottom because we are definitely not going to be pulling that weight back up the hill. Oh boy, modding, how are you keeping and what maps do you make? <clears throat> stop, stop, thank you. Don't ah, put you in reverse then, huh? Yep, there we go. Hey, be good. Okay, I can bring our trailer. Really should have put click to switch on here. <coughs> you know the other that the flip side to this is it's going to be just as much fun getting the trailer out of here when we're done. You want reverse as well. John Deers definitely don't like staying still, do they? Yeah, John Deere, they're really good tractors. Yeah, give them my Voltra Deer any day of the week. Just they don't make combines, or at least I don't think they do. You know, when you're sitting there empty, you should actually stop your header would be um, an official. They don't? Um, okay, that's a shame. Yep, stop. Thank you. Yeah, glad I emptied the combine. I'd have been still rolling back into that hedge down there if I hadn't emptied. I never thought green could weigh so much. I don't think Vultures make combines. 
No, I don't think they do either. I think they only do tractors. And the bad part is my favourite tractor's in the store. It's on sale. And I can't buy it. I can't afford it. 180. I could sell the John Deere. I mean, there, there is an option. It's worth 188,000. Um, I could do that. But I, uh, I, I've elected that I won't sell any of the starting equipment. I will work with it. Wouldn't be a very good um, start if uh, I'm the one that gave you all the starting equipment and here's me selling it. No round bales on this one, this field. Uh, yeah, I've got a round baler. Swap it. <laughs> uh, I've got to keep. Uh, I've got to keep all the starting equipment. And work with what I've got. That's the one rule I've got. And up the hill we go. That one's going to be fun as well. Right. Squeeze. No, that didn't squeeze. Maybe a bit further over. Get to that hedge a bit. Take some of the paint work off. We'll be fine. Problem is we'll have to go anti-clockwise around this one for a bit. For the first um, headland. I'll be changing it straight away. <laughs> hey, you'll be going Massey. Massey 8S and the Class Combine. There you go. Now, what Class Combine now? What was the Massey that was in the store, actually? There was a Massey also on sale. Uh, oh, it's the 6700. Okay. What Combine would you go with? Because don't forget the uh, this map. You gotta be careful with the uh, choice of um, combine you go with. Because although you might get the combine around, it's the header trailer you've got to worry about. The Lexion eighty nine hundred. That's the big one, isn't it? Sure, that's the big one. Harvesters, glass, Lexion eighty nine hundred. Combinations, yeah. yeah. You might have a bit of trouble getting that around. See, that would be more for big open fields, and these roads can be very tight. I know you can cut the hedges away and make your make it easier for yourself. And then them on a dolly trailer as well. Which, um, which are fun, always fun. Maybe the smaller. <laughs> yeah, and maybe just a little bit smaller than that one. Huh? And this is what, nine, is this a nine meter header? That we have... 7.6, so I would say no bigger than a 9 meter header, and even then you'd be pushing it. So 6, 5.7, 7, 7, 6, 8 and a half, so that case, Holland, 9.2, you might get the Massey around here, the uh, uh, defense. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Possibly. I think he could get that one around there with that around here with a push. Um if you're because I know you're a real life farmer, so 
you know, you'd know how to get the uh, header into a tight field or something like that without cutting away the hedge. But the, um, not that there's anything wrong with cutting away the hedge, but, you know. And once you're in the field, it's fine. It's getting it in the field, right? And and the combine would easily go up between the, the fields. The combine wouldn't be the problem, it'd just be the header. But you're still on a dolly trailer. So you still got to back that sucker into the... Uh, Driving, uh, skill, skill driving. <laughs> yeah. Throw it over the, over the uh, hedge. It'll be fine. It'll land on its wheels. Oh, you meant driving. Oh, okay. Never mind. Been knocking a few lights off with these trees. Fine, they're cheap enough to replace. It's funny because um, it's a blight thing. Oh no, here we go. Struggling to turn already, and we're only half a tank. Are we really not going to make it up this hill? Is it because of the, uh, oh, okay, did we get stuck on that windrow? That's fine. Might be um, a good idea if I made all of these ones grass fields all around here and uh, use the centre of the map for the actual grain harvesting because um, this combine's not the best John Deere parts are expensive yeah uh, John Deere's are expensive as well I don't know why lump of crap leak junk if this is a representation of what they are like in real life I would never buy one not in a million years would I buy a JD. I know it's a steep hill, but come on. If other combines can do it and this one can't, I'd be worried. I'd be, uh, if I was JD, I'd be going, I need to sort that out. I need to figure out why our combines are not as good. Now we can go clockwise. We can empty the uh, combine. Mm -hmm. We haven't got a forage wagon either, so we can't pick it up with a forage wagon. So we have to bail it. We're going to be full before we hit the bottom, aren't we? Lovely. Let's just stop it there and uh, put you into reverse so you don't roll off. Oop. Can I see the map layout on the home page, please? Uh, you mean that the PDA? I'm gone. Let me. Good job I don't have wheel slip mod on here. I'd have no field left. Um, let me just get the powerful John Deere up this hill, you know. Let's 
Hmm, I don't know how to activate all of that crap on. I've got mods that I don't know the buttons for. Um, if we put it in four wheel drive, that would make a huge difference. Right. That's what I was thinking as well. Put them in grass. Because up here it's flatter. All up here. Hey mouse. How are you bud? Um, it would be easier to harvest up here. Than these. And these are bigger fields as well. You see that there will replace the John Deere. Because that John Deere definitely does not like hills. Definitely. Thank you. My, um, my first rule was with uh, each of the farmyards was that they all had to have a minimum of four grass fields by them so you didn't have to voice over grass fields i know you could make a arable field into a grass field and if i had this farm these two fields would definitely become grass and i might i might change then one of them two into an arable um where's the farms a starting farm this one you actually start here and the, all of these fields are the ones that you own. Like my um, corn isn't ready to go. Not bad, hope you're well. I'm good, thank you. And uh, that's good to hear. So, um, your, your corn isn't ready to go yet. And those who don't want to start off with this equipment can easily just, you know, it and then get their new stuff into the farmyard and carry on from there. But live and learn with this combine. Definitely, definitely don't like it. You left the head run again, that was clever. That's cool, I like that. Good that the shop is close as well. Yeah. Oh when I was um when I was work working on deciding after that farm because that was the last farm to go in and I was like, which of these farms do I want as the main farm? You know, there's five to pick one from which one. And this was the very first farm I put in. And it all started by putting the cow barn in. And then I built the farm around the cow barn. I like the look of this map already. Quite a few people have said the same. Quite a few people have said, oh, this might be the map that gets me off Riverview. And they're addicted to Riverview. So if this can get them off Riverview, then... I've, I've done well. Um, but if uh, so, it was like, do I make this one as the main farm because you know it's um, the last farm I pour in and it gives you virtually everything, or do I give it to this farm where you've got all the animal types on there and and then talking with um a few people and it was like yeah but how far are you from the the store um you know you might want to keep them close to the store you love the river view in 17. Yeah. i i like river view in 22 i don't like the farm yard i'll i'll i preferred the farm yard in 17 and 19. 
I hate the farmyard in 22. No offence to those who love <laughs> Riverview, but the farmyard in 22, I'm no big fan of it. I went with it because I didn't want to use the same sheds and make it fit, you know, make people go, oh, it's just another copy and paste map. We have enough of these that will come out over the over the course of the span of um, uh, farm sim. So I went with um, base game sheds, cut down on uh, slot usage and and uh, and required textures. But um, I had contemplated on ripping all of that out and going back to the original uh, yard layout. And then decided against it in the end. Because people are used to the FS22 version of Riverview and not the FS19 version. Because, you know, there's a lot more people on Mod Hub that have downloaded it than what there were when it was a third party map in 19 and 17. Oh, we're done. Good. Let's get back to work. Let's go the other way first, though, because, you know, mowing, uh, harvesting backwards never works out well. Stop. Thank you. What do you get in the starting farm? You get cows, sheep and horses. 2,000 cows, 2,000 sheep and 16 horses. Or the, the capacity for all of them. Although, um, that, that might change. Might be a surprise for capacities at some point. I might, I might do a little dabbling in there. Push the envelope out a little bit further. You know, the, the cow barns are set up for Maze Plus, but... And again, do I want to do that? Because then I've got to do all the, uh, the calculations on the cow, on the feed and everything again. forward now thank you so that side might be easier to come up than this side than the other side I'll be fine then Maybe it would be easier if I just carried on going around in circles on this particular field types with the uh, huge undulations in them. What was that? I'm off to bed now. Take care, buddy. Map looks great. Thank you. You take care and uh, enjoy your sleep. And uh, we'll speak again soon. Thanks for dropping in, bud. Much appreciated. So what's the mouse been up to today, I wonder? And did you manage to get to the shopping time yesterday?
it's have gone to bed. That's always a good thing. Somewhere in. Whew. If this heat continues to rise, um, screaming might be less and less for me. I remember, was it a couple of years ago when we had a really hot? I know we had one last year, but we had a really, really hot one. When, um, actually, no, it was more like. Uh, was it 17 when we had that really hot one? 17 or 18. And uh, farmers were having to feed their animals winter stock because the grass just wasn't growing. Tarmac was just burning up, melting on the... due to the, the excessive heat and grass was just dying. We needed a rainfall. That was, uh, that was definitely not good times. And I, uh, I had a fan going in here and everything, and it still wasn't enough. And where I am, it's a very small area, so it gets very hot very quick, but it also cools down very quick when you got a fan going. Didn't that year? He didn't that year. Let's try not to um, follow that all the way around because we want to take that corner off that um, or that, uh, that that jagged bit off on the next pass if possible. Don't know how long I'll actually be going for. Um, I started off as a private stream and I was like, you know what, just go. Live. May as well. I don't announce my streams, I just go with it. <laughs> go forward, will you? Jeez. You're going to give us John Deers that can't move that. Uh, or don't have the power to go up a hill. Give us the ability to have horses that we can strap to the John Deere to help it along. Oh shoot, we should have emptied before we um, made that turn. That might explain why we struggled. It's all fine. We can get close to the top of this hill before we need to empty. That would be a bonus. John Deere. See how well you can up this cell. Mm, not too bad. Let's get you filling there. If we do want to sell this, where do we want to sell it at? Wheat. Uh, wrong one, that one. The grain mill. Really? We haven't got exports taking grain. Um, Taking it. Oh, we got a fix there. 
we and we're in August, aren't we? That's a good time to be selling it. Okay. I guess we put it in storage then. So we have got seasons on, we're on seven days per season. Of course the first month is always going to be one day regardless. We can't do anything about that, unfortunately. The only way of uh, changing that would be to put the game month back one. And then... Um, and then... skipping time until you're back in August. That's just too much faffing around for my liking. He's a very tight corner. Been getting much of a bigger trailer than this around that corner. Not with the horse pasture there. Let's go on to the rest of the combine and then uh, we'll get back to harvest in this field. Thirty-two degrees. I'm glad it's not like that over here just yet. Weather's all wrong for Scotland, isn't it? <laughs> Thirty-two degrees. Wow. And down south, you know, we moan about the heat. You imagine if it got to that temperature in Scotland. They'd definitely be melting. Not that it ever does get to, uh, doesn't get to that temperature, but I'm sure when we had that heat wave, they they was uh, like us going, yeah, just get rid of this heat. We we're done. Bring us back the rain. And it was a cold winter. It was always fun. Because then we moaned about the winter as well. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, after I've done this field I'm going to call the stream because I am knackered. I wasn't even... I was only going to do the one field, hence the reason why I'd done it as a private stream initially. Leave this field until the next time, but... Uh, is what it is. My fault. 1976 was a great year. 
Um, that's be way before my time, but why? What, what was so good about it? Let's say way before my time. It wasn't actually way before my time, but it's way before I can remember. I wasn't born much after that. Three years after that I was born. Of course, you know. Uh, UK heat wave. Ooh. What, was that the hottest year on record then, 1976? I can imagine um, that was hotter than what we had in whatever year that was. I'm just going to go with 17 for argument's sake. Then, um, yeah. Because I, I think that year we was in almost the 40s. I think it got up to like 38, 39. At the, uh, at the peak of the uh, heat wave. That lasted for what felt like months. But I think it was only a couple of weeks. But it felt like forever. And it was... Uh, it was that hot that you just, you couldn't do much, you just literally, you, you sat there and you just sweat. And uh, that year, we had a lot of takeaways, we, we didn't cook. We definitely didn't cook. Putting the oven on would have been like committing suicide. I believe so. Cars were covered with sand from the Sahara Desert. And the hot winds were coming over for three months. Yeah, I think, that, yeah, right, yeah, 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 definitely not my, no. No. I'll, I'll, I'll stop moaning about the heat now. <laughs> that, that's definitely out, no. So, Mouse, did you enjoy your time around the map? And is it a map that you could see yourself doing anything on? I think a few people are already making plans on what they're going to do with uh, a series on this map. And then there's a couple of others who are waiting for the map to come out before they do anything on it. Reminds me, I should get all the collectibles sorted out, shouldn't I, now that I've um, got all the buildings in place. Should be my next port of call. Oh, 
combine won't stop. Never a good thing. Yes, sir, you, uh, yes, I like you very much. You've done a very good job, sir. Awesome. Thank you. That's always a good thing. Uh, don't go forward. Stay there. Be a good combine. Back to Jump. Turn it on before you try and drive off, huh? Could make a very good thief. Jump in the tractor and go, why ain't it going? The lighting definitely makes a difference on this map as well. I I've compared the default lighting to the lighting changes I made, and yeah, I I don't like the default lighting at all. One of the things that puts me off on a base game map. By the way. Hey Joe, it's going well thank you, how about yourself? Hey, and that's that done. Empty the combine and put it away. Oh damn, that header trail is the wrong way around isn't it? Ain't going to be fun. Awesome. Glad you're doing good. Now, squeeze it between the edges again. There we go. Go and, um, uh, head a trailer into position. Turn the tractor on first. Does help. <laughs> I'll have to get that click to switch mod. Sorted. Can't see. There we go. Hold on. Be back in here. Are you still spitting out straw? Jeez. Let's fold you up. Okay. 
that sign just yet. That'd be a bad idea. Let's take this this way. That header in a bit straighter, couldn't I? Oh well. It'll be fine. Plenty of room. There you are. I think we'll go this way. We'll go to our right, shallower hill to get up. Um, why them those keep flickering? Don't just give me the option. No, you're not. Okay, you don't have to be awkward. Very good. Go. can do the bailing and the baler is not in here is it where did we park the baler oh, baler definitely didn't park you over there no. Up here. there it is right by the neck next to the massey ferguson There, we'll let this grass grow. So uh, fully grown before we buy any sheep because we've got the mod that allows us to uh the, the sheep to be able to feed off the grass that's in there. So that'd be um and we'll get sixty sheep and there should be more than enough grass to keep them going. Um Like how there's you get the water sounds when you run through the puddles now. They haven't got the water sounds when you actually jump in the puddle though. Just a thud. Alright. So that's our two fields mo uh, mode harvested.
We've got that one, but that one is not for a while. We've got all of these that are ready, fully ready, aren't they? 100% grass. Fully grown. That one definitely is. That one looks to be. Yep. Lovely. And so if this one, uh, this these two are, then that means that one and that one will be as well. So bonus. But I am going to. What did we get? Forty-eight thousand. Bad. Forty-eight thousand. Complain about that one. I'm going to call it that and uh, go and get my head down because it's nearly midnight and I've got a headache coming. So I'll thank you all for coming in and uh, watching. I'll put a link to Disturb's um, YouTube channel in the description for anybody who wants to go and uh, check that out. He's the guy who made um, this GEO and uh, the GEO on my other maps as well. And uh, so go over there and uh, give him a, a subscription if you haven't already. Um, he definitely puts out good content. And, uh, and then Mouse, um, go, and, go and jump on him as well. He puts out good content. Um, oh, you do stream, don't you? I'm sure you stream. Have I caught you streaming? Even if he doesn't stream, go and give him a like and a subscription. Follow him. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and get a drink before I go to bed because my throat is drying up. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one and uh, be safe.